Basketball fans are preparing to strap themselves in for yet another reptile rumble at the Swamp. And should the Crocs win on Sunday, they'll claim second spot on the ladder and potentially two home games in the final series later in the year. It has all the makings of a classic reptile rumble. Playoff basketball and playoff type basketball is traditionally ugly and grindy and, and uh, yeah, it's not really sexy basketball. Add two sides put through the emotional ringer after Cyclone Yasi and it's a potent mix. I still haven't won there. The Taipans say they'll have to be mentally strong to win at the Swamp, despite the coach having this dig at Townsville's crowds. Their crowds have been pretty disappointing, really, for, the, for their year. I mean, our support's been phenomenal and theirs has been pretty average. Taipan Alex Lawton will carry a groin injury into the match. I'll play physical like he always does, you know, we will as a team. And, and the Crocs have pulled their last rabbit out of the hat, confirming today point guard Will Blaylock will return from Boston in time for Sunday's tip-off. But jet lag is likely to limit the new father's minutes, so the Crocs will look to Nathan Crosswell and development player Chris Cedar to control the play. That's even better this game. I, I got the opportunity earlier in the year to go to Cairns and play against them, and hopefully I'll get more minutes this game and just go after them. And true to form, the Crocs captain claimed the final word. They're a really good team, and uh, they're, they're riding some confidence, but... Make no mistake, we will not back down. The match tips off at three on Sunday at the Swamp. Veronica Eggleton, 7 News.